there YouTube. So I thought I'd do a little bit more of a detailed video on doing brakes. I did one quite a few years ago. It was kind of one of the first videos I did that got any real traction on YouTube, but it was really quick, uh, just down and dirty pad slap, and it wasn't, it didn't cover a lot of things, and I got some flack for that. Some of it was understandable. Some of it was just people being stupid. But anyway, I thought I'd cover in a little more detail on doing some brakes. Uh, we're gonna do drums. Uh, this trailer's got seized anchor pins in it. We're gonna get those out and replaced and do some stuff like that and cover a little more detail on it. So anyway, uh, first thing we gotta do is get these tires off and we're gonna be mounting some new tires too. I don't know if I'll record that or not. I've got several other videos on mountain tires, but anyway, let's get to it. Alright, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to pop these springs off. You're going to want to grab a hold of the S-cam here. Give it a good wiggle, check it for excessive play. Okay, then the next thing we gotta do is we gotta get these anchor pins up. As you can see, they're seized in there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a ball joint press. We're going to just try to press them out with this. No idea. Other side, I still had to use heat, but we're going to see what happens here. moved. Okay. Might have not have to heat these ones. got to do the same thing on the other one here and then we've got a little bushing in here that we got to drive out as well now these bushings you can normally just get under them with the chisel just kind of split them out of there they're made of a pretty soft metal so they're really not that hard to get out
get them out like that. Play a bit of anti-seize. Take your new one. So I used my ball joint press just to finish driving that in. Uh, normally you don't have to do that, but it kind of got hung up and I didn't want to mushroom the end of it out beating it in. So I just used the ball joint press just to finish pressing it. Okay, these things here, these spring retainers, they just go there. Take your large spring, hook it on like so. Then you can just pick both shoes up together. Okay, set your top shoe on then you just kind of you bring your bottom shoe up and you push it down slide it into the s-cam okay now you can see that the shoes are completely in place here they're held on by the large spring and then you also got to put your small spring on for those just use a screwdriver just like so now there is more than one way that guys do these some guys leave the rollers out and they put all the springs on And then pry the shoes up to put the uh, the rollers back in. I think this way is the simplest way to do it. You just pry your put your deal with your big spring first. Put your rollers on, get the shoes on, and then just pry these smaller springs into place. And that's pretty much it for putting the shoes on. I'm gonna put new drums on this time generally I do drums every other set of shoes so the second set I just reuse them I don't turn them because typically if you turn them by the time your second set of shoes is wore out you're exceeding the maximum diameter so I don't turn them I just put them back on for the second set of shoes and then the next set of shoes will be new drums again so all we got to do to put the drums on is just slide them on Now when you put new drums on, you do want to make sure that you spray off the brake surface with some brake clean before you put them on. There can be some oil on the brake surface to keep them from rusting during shipping. And you don't want that on them, so make sure you just spray the brake surface off with a little brake clean. 
slide your shoe on, then uh, you still need to adjust the brakes, but other than that, the brake job's done. Now to adjust your brakes, just tighten your slack adjuster up until it's tight. Back it off a half a turn for a new set of shoes, and it's about right. You can uh, still check your brake throw and make sure that you're within your spec for your slack adjuster and your brake can, and that's about all there is to it. All right, now here's the ball joint press that I used on this video. This is nothing special. I think this was actually a Harbor Freight deal but it's the Maddox Ball Joint Service Kit M10-1. Basically just a ball joint press. You've got several different adapters and whatnot for it here and works really good on the uh, unseized anchor pins. On the one I recorded I didn't use any heat but uh, some of the other ones I definitely had to heat up with an oxyacetylene torch, but not a huge deal. taking the tires on or off the truck so I don't know why people thought I didn't torque the lug nuts there you go torque the lug nuts but anyway guys thanks for watching be sure to like comment subscribe down below thank you have a great day